the ability here to screen thousands of microbes and find the ones that actually work. We have in the collection, I think around 40,000 completely sequenced strains now. So when we discover a good lead, we can look at the DNA sequence and compare it to the rest of our collection and find other candidates very quickly. If we have one that, that sort of works okay, well, we're probably not gonna waste a lot of time on it because we have got another one in the freezer that works great. This thing's pretty tough. I mean, I am, I am often quite amazed at how resilient it is. It wants to live and it wants to perform well. There's a lot of field and greenhouse testing that we've done uh, both in-house as well as with a lot of testing partners and it gives us a lot of confidence moving forward with this particular product. We have science to back up the, uh, the claims that we're making and this particular product really is very efficacious. That's another great thing about this particular organism is we know that it came from an agricultural soil to start with and we, we know that it colonizes plant roots. We have uh, data that, that demonstrates that, so that gives us a lot of confidence that it's going to survive well out in the environment. I think this is a, a, a really unique product that we have on our hands in terms of uh, really being able to stand side by side with traditional chemical products that are out there. We couldn't come out with something that had to be refrigerated and used within five days or something like that. We worked hard to get to a dry formulation, a good shelf life, and uh, applied with conventional equipment. We also did a lot of early testing to be sure we were compatible with other fungicides. I understand the need for the product. Just some of the things that I've seen, how stark the difference is, is just totally, it, it blows me away.